So I've seen a bunch of videos out here talking about who everyone wants to be in 2XKO, which is great, by the way. Keep up the good work. But we can't forget one of the core values of League of Legends, unconditional anger. Let's talk about a few champions I don't want to see in 2XKO because I feel like an angry little hater boy today. I sat in traffic for an hour and I accidentally left my taco shells in the oven too long so they got burnt. The first thing I thought when I heard 2XKO was going to have two player duo play was, oh, that's sick. So both players are going to control their own characters and work together to execute cool stuff, right? Like they both have to press buttons. You couldn't just have one teammate entirely carry the other and have the other person just sitting there watching the entire time. That just wouldn't be fun at all. It's not like there's a precedent for that in League of Legends. Oh god. This is Yumi. For those who don't know, Yumi is a criminal wanted dead and specifically not alive by 100% of the League of Legends community. This evil hell spawn of a cat essentially attaches herself to a teammate automatically moving with them buffing them, shielding them, etc. Ing with, with them. This character is widely hated because you just kind of stick yourself to your carry and play with minimal interaction. It's actually so bad, it even got to a point where literal bots playing Yumi were destroying the ranked experience for some players. Now, I'm not saying Yumi and 2XKO would be the exact same as League of Legends. There's, there's no way they'd put a character like that in a fighting game, right? At least that's what I tell myself. But in order for them to be faithful to the League of Legends iteration of Yumi, there's got to be some sort of wacky shenanigans going on with her. Maybe they'd alter how she tags or give her some kind of defensive shield assist. Whatever it could be, Yumi sucks and I don't want to see it. Before I get to the next champion, I'd like to ask you all a question. Who here likes stale white bread? Maybe seasoned with a little mold? If you do then I've got the champion for you. Let me introduce you to Jace. This mid-ass inventor guy has the personality of the crumbs that fall between the keys of your keyboard. The worst part is, he's totally gonna be in the game. His weapon mechanic where he switches between a gun and a hammer would work perfectly for a stance character. And as far as I'm aware, he's pretty popular. He's one of the champions that the animated series Arcane focuses heavily on, and he's practically a shoe-in. Specifically a size 10.5 since that's the average male shoe size. It's not like he'd be a really bad character or anything, I just can't see him being interesting to me. Mostly because of his design and personality. I've always felt Jace was a bit uninspired, but hey, maybe he could be more interesting in a tag fighter. Like I said, he does switch stances like in League of Legends, so maybe that would be interesting in this tag fighter scenario. You could have more of a ranged focus zoner archetype with his bow stance and a more in-your-face rushdown or mid-range poke type play style in his hammer stance. League of Legends has several characters that have little minion guys. And if there's one of them that I don't want to see make it into 2XKO, it would have to be Malzahar. I mean, look at the guy. His design is kind of whatever compared to most of the League of Legends roster, and I don't really care for his personality or gameplay. 2XKO will probably have some sort of minion character at some point in its life or puppet character. And I personally hope it's any of the other champions that could go here. Who would want Malzahar and his little guys over Maokai and his saplings or Yorick and his ghost? boys. Malzahar's ultimate ability just wouldn't really work well in a fighting game either considering you just click on a guy and they can't play. Now I'm gonna blow your mind with a little bit of opinion in this highly opinionated video but I think healing mechanics in fighting games are generally annoying and slow the game down. If you've ever fought or played as Elena in Ultra Street Fighter 4 you probably know what I mean. I think it's unfortunately inevitable that in 2XKO a team fighting game with multiple players, there's eventually going to be some sort of healing between the characters. There are so many healing characters in League, it feels like a given. However much I generally don't want to see this, maybe the devs can find a way to make it interesting. I only ask that when this comes up, they consider not using Soraka. Oh my god, I hate Soraka, dude. In League of Legends, Soraka can sacrifice her own HP to heal her teammates. She also has a massive team-wide heal as her ultimate. Now, a sort of HP resource-based mechanic is not new to fighting games, and most of the time when it's present, said character is usually not very good. However, I think there's a reason for that, and it's because there's a really fine line for these characters. If you have them get too big a reward for the percentage of health they sacrifice, then they become very strong 
very quickly. I think a mechanic like this would be really cool in a tag fighter if she sacrificed meter instead of HP. A meter sharing mechanic could get wacky and it would be interesting to see the sort of team specific stuff. You could pull off with the right amount of meter being shared at just the right moment. Despite the grumpy tone of this video, I'm generally a pretty positive guy. I like to think. We're all here for laughs, right? We're all here for a good time. Are you having a good time? Let me know. Leave a like and maybe subscribe. There's 11 of you. Can we see 12? This last character isn't just likely to make it into XKO. I'd say they're a shoe in Of course it's Draven. Look, I know Draven is popular. I know he would fit right in with the FGC. Not Draven. Draven. The memes would be glorious. It wouldn't be all bad. That being said, I can't stand Draven. His face, his voice, his attitude, Draven players. Okay, imagine it's a great night, everything's going well, and you boot up, you go online, boot up your new favorite game to XKO, and despite the advancements in rollback technology, and probably having some of the best netcode fighting games can or will ever have, somehow, these Draven players are gonna be lagging. They're gonna be rolling back all over the screen and rage quitting constantly, one and done in to save their points when you beat them, sending you salty messages after the game. Draven players are gonna bring all of this to 2XKO. Some days it's gonna be hilarious. Some days it's going to be a nightmare. I just hope they get rid of that stupid mustache. Now, if they find a way to incorporate his axe juggling mechanic into a fighting game, that would be pretty cool, but I really just don't want him out of spite right now. Someone needs to push back against the inevitable Draven army, and if no one else is going to do it, I will. What do you think? Are there any League of Legends champions you don't want to see in 2XKO? Or do you not have an opinion because you're new to fighting games and afraid to get started because learning them is hard? Well, buddy. I'd have to disagree. And as you can see right here, I made a video just to prove you wrong.